Hello my dear friends, today I have a unique display called Tear Display S3 from Lilygo. This is actually a ESP32 S3 R8 based development board with a LCD screen. It has GPUs for connecting other modules. We can display letters, numbers, images, animations and sensor reading on this powerful display module. So in this video, I am showing the complete details and how to program this module. Now let's get started with this video. So this is the display module. It has a dimension of 62 by 26 by 10 mm. On the back side, you can see the ESP32 S3 R8. Since it is based on ESP32, it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This version has 60 MB flash memory. Here is the GPIOs. We can use this to connect external modules and sensors. There are 30 GPIOs available in this module. This module has a inbuilt lithium polymer battery charger and we can connect 3.7 battery to this JST 1.27 connector. The board also comes with this cube connector. There are three push buttons on this board. This is the reset button, then this is the boot button and finally a user programmable button over here which is connected to GPIO 40. It has two LEDs, red one indicates the charging status and green one denotes the power on status. Here is the display which is secured in this acrylic case and you can see the Liligo logo over here. This is a 1.9 inch ST 7789 based TFT IPS LCD and it has a resolution of 170 by 320 pixels. Due to its higher resolution, we can display crisp images and animations. Now let's see how to program this. To control this TFT display, I am using TFT ESPA library. You can download the library from Liligo GitHub page you can also find the link from the video description. After downloading the given zip file, extract it. Then copy the TFT ESPA library and paste it in the Arduino library folder. Now open Arduino IDE. Now install the ESP32 board to Arduino. For that you need to paste board URL in additional board URL section. After that install only the version below 2.0.14. This is very important because about this version the TFT ESPA library will not work properly. After installing we can program the board. Here is the simple code to display text on the TFT display. Now select the board as ESP32 S3 development module. Enable the OPA PS RAM. Change the flash size to 8 or 16 MB and partition scheme to 8 M with the spiffs. Now select the correct port and we can upload the code. After uploading, you can see the text on the TFT display. Same way we can display images and animations. Here I am displaying the data of this environmental sensor from DFRobot. You can download all this code from my website, link is given in the video description. Not much tutorials available on TFT displays in the internet, but you can refer Volos Projects channel for better quality tutorials. So if you want display text or images in high quality for your project, you can consider this display module. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.